Welcome to the first of three videos about color basics. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about hue. I'll tell you what it means and how you can use it to improve your practice. Let's go. With the exception of just a few kinds of art, if you're an artist, you're going to be thinking about color a lot. In this video, I'm going to show you how to think about color in a more holistic way by breaking down the three aspects of color. Those three aspects or dimensions of color are hue, value, and chroma. In today's video, we're going to be talking about hue. So what is hue? Well, on the surface, it's quite simple. It's the name of the color that corresponds to that region in the light spectrum or the rainbow. However, there are two kinds of hue. There's general hue and specific hue. We'll talk about them both. Let's talk about general hue now. General hue is the term given to a group of colors on the color wheel. So for example, a general hue could be yellow. Now within that general hue of yellow, you may have a number of different kinds of yellows like yellow lake, cadmium yellow lemon, or lemon yellow. I guess it's easy to figure out that all of those different kinds of yellows have the general hue of yellow because they all have yellow in the name. But some other colors may be a little more difficult, such as cobalt turquoise greenish, phthalo turquoise, and cobalt teal. You might not know those are part of the general hue, cyan. Now you may be asking, does the art community agree on what all of the general hues are? The short answer is no. But there are a couple of different systems that are generally used. Some people might say that the general hues are the six made up in the additive color wheel. The additive color wheel can be used in painting. Uh, the colors are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Others would say that the general hues are the six used in the subtractive color wheel used in printing. Those colors are magenta, blue, cyan, green, yellow, and red. As a colorblind person, I've had to study color a lot, and so I've come up with my own color wheel. The 12 hues in my color wheel are yellow, orange, red, rose, magenta, violet, indigo, blue, aqua, cyan, green, and lime. By using 12 general hues instead of just six from either of the other two wheels, I'm able to keep my colors more vibrant because when you mix two colors together, you decrease the chroma. We're not gonna get into, it, into that in this video. Regardless of the color wheel that you use, what you should consider is temperature. Keep your warm colors and your cool colors separate when you're thinking about general hues. So for example, red, orange, magenta, rose, those are all warm hues. Whereas on the other side, the cool hues are blue, cyan, aqua, and green. That's it for general hue. Now let's take a look at specific hue. Specific hue is the exact name given to a paint. That name should correspond to a region on the light spectrum or the rainbow. So for example, let's say the general hue is yellow, a specific hue would be any number of uh, particular yellows within that general frame. Uh, for example, yellow ochre is a specific hue of the general hue yellow. Yellow lake is a specific hue of the general hue yellow. Think about it like this. Each color has a given name and a family name. The family name, like your last name, uh, would be the general hue, yellow. The specific name would be like your first name. It's important to pay attention to what specific hue you're using because one particular yellow, for example, might be opaque, like cadmium yellow, whereas another kind of yellow, like Hansa yellow, could be transparent. Also about specific hue, some hues lean toward cooler colors and some lean toward warmer colors. So for example, with yellow, some yellows have more green in them and they're a little bit cooler, like cadmium yellow lemon. Whereas other yellows have some more red in them, or orange, and lean toward the warmer side, like cadmium yellow deep. There's one other time you're going to see the word hue used in art. It's a very different meaning and I should cover it so we don't cause confusion. In some paint tubes, you're going to see the word hue in the title, cobalt violet hue. In that case, what they're saying is, this is not cobalt violet. There's no cobalt in this paint. This is a synthetic, less expensive substitute 
or real cobalt violet. Hue in this case means looks like. So this isn't cobalt violet, this is a color that looks like cobalt violet. And that's why a paint like this can be so inexpensive, as opposed to a paint like this, which has a real cobalt that needs to be mined and processed. When you have a paint that does say hue on the label, cadmium red hue or cobalt violet hue, something like that, you know that it's a synthetic substitute. That doesn't mean it's necessarily a bad paint. The quality can still be high. It often isn't as high as the natural pigments, but it still can be high. So those are the two meanings of hue. On the one hand, you have hue, which means a synthetic alternative to a natural pigment. And on the other hand, you have hue, which is one of the three dimensions or aspects of color. We've covered them both today. That's it for hue. In the next video, we're going to be talking about the second dimension of color, value. And speaking of value, if you got value from this content, please do comment, like, follow, and share for more art tips and tutorials.